So I hit two pairs of sneakers that released on the Nike app. These didn't drop on sneakers, but I think that they probably should have because both of these things are super fire in my opinion. Anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys what we picked up. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys haven't shopped this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Basically, I just curate a bunch of sneaker deals for you guys that I find on the internet from Nike and Adidas and those type of places and then post them uh, for you guys to see. Now, both of these dropped on the Nike app and I was actually surprised that we didn't see um, a release on these on sneakers. I don't know why they chose to do that. Maybe there was other competition on the same days. I don't really know, but anyways, I got two of the three that released. Unfortunately, the ones that I really wanted, uh, we did not get, but we got a pair of Air Max 95s from the Denim collaboration. And then I got a pair of the Air Max 90s from the, the denim collaborations. And this is sort of a half victory because I really, really wanted this shoe. It looks like the Neon Air Max 95, which is one of the shoes that I need in my collection to finish off that Air Max lineage of like the OG colorways. So this is a crazy nice nod to that and this black denim finish that they did. Really, really dope uh, pair right here. But it's not my size. I got a freaking size 8 instead of a 9.5. So I'm super sad that I didn't get my size. But I'll probably have sold these ones already by the time you guys watch this video. And hopefully I'll take that money and put it into a pair in my size. Because they look crazy, crazy good. But I also just really want a pair of the regular 95s, uh, the neon ones. And then they have the Air Max 90s in the denim uh, look and I was like man these look crazy too and I didn't really realize from the images the panel is split in the back and then you could see they use different colored denim uh, for this pair really really dope collab though and one that I think maybe people slept on because they didn't even know about it if sneakers was your only source for looking for um, sneakers then you wouldn't have seen them because they didn't pop up there for some reason but so it's a denim collaboration from a company called denim but it looks like den ham h-a-m yeah i don't know a lot of the history about the the company to be honest i'm not even going to butcher it and try to to go into it in fact i was going to go to the nike page to try to find out more information about the release and of course it's like pulled i can't even find it anymore now that these sold out but the other one that i didn't get was the air max one that was the first drop the day before and I actually stayed up till midnight the day before of that drop to try to get those ones and then basically you have to register on it with an email and then they would email you with a link and that link let you get through to the site and I got those in cart and actually checked out and it wouldn't take my card information got the L I was super mad then the next morning they dropped on Nike uh, app not sneakers again the Nike app got the L the next day on that one, the next night, both of these dropped on the denim app, stayed up at midnight, try to get L's on both of them, and then I hit on the Nike app the next day. So it was like a two and a half day ordeal trying to get uh, these shoes, and at least I got one of them that I really wanted. I've got so many Air Max 90s this year though, like I was like really hoping that I would get the 95s instead, but you know, sometimes it is what it is. Still happy that I got these. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys is check this out. Like this is my Levi's denim joint that I did comparison to the denim collaboration and like they look pretty uh pretty good I actually i gotta say i really like mine i'm not better but i like mine equally as much as these they have the same vibes of that denim and white and then a little bit of like the pinkish infrared and then i went with like a salmon sort of pink on this one and i kind of like this one a little bit better just because of the the salmon but with the nike id options you could actually get these distressed which was cool like you could actually get them distressed denim straight out the box and then I actually took my Dremel and distressed these a little bit more if you guys want to see a pair of these like loosened up and distressed drop a like on this video drop a comment and let me know and then I could do a follow-up maybe a video or just a uh, some pictures of me uh, distressing these because I think it would look kind of cool if we uh, we tore them up a little bit but thematically these are supposed to be a play on of the infrared joints right here which is like the OG uh, vibe to the Air Max 90 so kind of cool that they have little hits of the infrared on the bottoms. The TPU on the laces are infrared as well. The back section right here is normally rubberized and infrared, but this one you could see they use a nice premium material uh, back there. It's like a suede material. They have kind of a canvas material on the tongue. It says Nike Air. That canvas material is also on the toe box and then the back collar of the shoe. Then you have a darker denim on the side of the shoe with a little bit of an infrared stitch too, which I think adds a nice little pop to the Nike swoosh. That infrared stitch is also on the other side and just a little dash across, which is an interesting placement. It would have been cool if they used that same infrared on the other side of the swoosh, but 
uh, but still cool nonetheless to see a little bit of variance there. Three different tones of denim, darker, lighter, and then a light for the swoosh. And then as you wrap your way around the shoe, you can see they have three different hits of denim on this side as well. The one that maintains consistent is the one across the toe box. It's the same on both sides, but the swoosh is done in a lighter denim. Then the mud guard along the side is done in the same type of denim as the swoosh on the outside. So it uses like four or five different types of denim uh, to complete the upper, which I think is really cool how they were able to incorporate so many different types, especially from a denim company. Like it's kind of rad that they were able to, to do something like that. And then on the inside shoe around the heel, it says denim, the jean maker. And then on the insole, you see Nike Air with a bunch of different scissors and stuff, which is kind of like the denim logo stuff from what I gathered. Uh, all in all, like a really cool looking pair of shoes and a really nice use of denim, really heavy construction on these shoes as well. Uh, but I would love to just beat these up. Uh, I don't know, maybe bleach them a little bit and I, I just want to like make them my own. So I feel like it would be a perfect shoe to do that too, but obviously I have uh, the other one from Levi's as well. And comparatively, the denim quality on the new pair is definitely far superior to the uh, the Levi version. It's like they use the thicker cut or I don't know what it is. It's just thicker and starchier and like it almost feels like a salvage denim if that's how you pronounce it. That's just my um, rookie eyes as I can't even pronounce salvaged. Is that even right? Salvaged? Salvaged? I never even know. I see the word so many times, but I don't hear it pronounced that I'm just like, man, I don't know. These are crazy though as well. You have that black denim on the toe and then three layers of denim up the side and then that canvas material again. Same sort of uh, suede on the heel as the other pair. This one has an embroidered Air Max logo on the tongue. Then that laser lime green like midsole on here looks crazy. And then the outsole, just the Air Max 95s that we know and love. It says denim jean maker in the inside as well with the same insole and a really nice premium pair of sneakers uh, created by denim. So kudos to those guys for doing that. Also, uh, just noteworthy, the box, it's a different box. You can see it has a cutout Nike swoosh at the top, which is a really cool little feature. It says Nike Air Max 95 DNHM, 180 on the box price of these, 160 on the box price for the 90s. They also came with these little dust bags, which is pretty rad as well, individually uh, wrapped in the dust bag uh, with a little pull string on it. But, um, but not bad, man. Good looking collab and definitely one that I'm surprised didn't hit sneakers kind of snuck in and out. And sometimes the releases happen like that. And what's kind of fun about sneakers in general, it's overwhelming because if you pay attention to the sneaker space, there's just so much going on. Like you don't know it's like, is this one releasing today? Or I, you lose track of time. And there's so many of them that just uh, are dropping that sometimes we miss really good ones. And in my opinion, this is one that probably a lot of people missed uh, out on. The Air Max 1s are going for a crazy amount of money. The quality of those look really, really amazing as well, though. But um, I'm curious where these are going to be ranked in the uh, the rankings of, like, Air Max packs. I mean, we have, like, the Atmos Air Max packs that have done really well in the past with, like, the crazy animal prints. But this denim set, I think, was done really, really well. And in a nice original reimagination of uh, some of the OG joints over here. So, but kudos to Nike for actually working with some of these smaller companies out there like denim. Like, I think that's super cool to see because it puts these other places and people on the map that you wouldn't necessarily follow. And now I'm following denim and I'm looking at their denim and I'm like, man, I'm trying to figure out if I should cop uh, some of the jeans like eventually. Really nice looking craftsmanship. But uh, anyway, that's uh, the unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. I'll post some links to like eBay and stuff to buy these if you guys are interested. But, uh, but yeah, we'll have a good one and we'll hopefully see you guys back for some more videos. Peace guys.